I had something that uh, like homeopathic medicine wasn't gonna fix happen to me uh, recently. My appendix was exploding. I mean, I tried. I was like lavender, lavender, lavender. Like, you know, I was like. <laughs> All my friends are like, I should have been frankincense. Oh, frankincense. I should have known. Baby Jesus loves it. By the way, your appendix explodes. That's weird. Like, why do we have exploding organs? We don't even know why it blows up. It just picks a day. It just loses it. The appendix is just like, nobody knows what I'm for. Blows up. And you don't know that it's your appendix that's exploding. You don't have a check appendix light on your body. You just have to figure it out. Go to WebMD, become a sleuth. You look it up and I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? What's, oh my gosh, my ovaries, my ovaries. I, I did not know I had those. I've got a lot to work out. This is really, it's a really bad day. I didn't think it was my ovaries. I, I thought it was what I ate. That's typically what people do. They blame it on what they ate, and I had eaten a burrito. And I already have a plan for if I eat a bad burrito. I do a maneuver. I call it the poncho via push out. Uh, it's where you eat a second bigger burrito. Push out the bad burrito. It works every time, right? It works fantastic. I know there's some dude in here who's like, I've done that, I've done it. You've done a poncho via push out. Obviously, if you're gonna do a poncho via push out, don't be far from your home. Be close to home. Don't be a hero. You have two burritos in your stomach. Play it safe. I was way too far from home. It was a six hour flight from home. That's how far from home I was. I was in, well, I guess five hours. I was in New York City. And I was wandering around New York City, two burritos in my stomach, fighting, seeing who's gonna be first at Stinko de My Hole. That's gonna get a filter, I'm sure of it. worth it. <laughs> I had to fly home that night and uh, my flight was at 7 p.m. It got delayed until 11 p.m. That's what life does to you, right? When things are going bad, life will check in. It'll be like, hey, how's it going? And you'll be like, not good, life. It's bad. It's going really bad. And life will be like, check it out. What if I made it worse? Like, no, make it easier, life. Life's like, I'm gonna make it worse, it'll be funny, you'll see. <laughs> got on the plane at 11, didn't got off the plane until 2 a.m. At 2 a.m. I was in so much pain, I was shuffling, getting off the plane, just like, oh, I don't feel good. I ate a burrito. And then a second one, oh my, it was a bad idea, I shouldn't have done that. But everybody getting off a plane that's been delayed at 2 a.m., they all shuffle, they're like, oh, I don't feel good. It's a delayed flight. Thank you, JetBlue. Oh, 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 God. And you see the other shufflers and you're like, oh, did you have a failed push out too? <laughs> Follow me, keep it clinched. Here we go. Do not risk it. We're not gonna risk it. <laughs> I got home. I tried to sleep. I couldn't sleep. I was in too much pain. That was crazy. I can't believe I couldn't sleep because I was in too much pain. I Googled something. I'm embarrassed that I Googled this, but I'm gonna say it. I Googled how to fart. That is what I Googled. <laughs> That's another filter. That's, uh... 
so many yoga poses came up, you guys. It was just like, just so many yoga poses. If you've ever been to a yoga class, you'll know that it happens. And the instructor always says the same thing. They go, and if you have gas, just let it be natural. And you're like, can I let it be hilarious? My body just turned into a base kazoo. I think it's funny. So put me on my floor at 3 a.m. just going, get out, get out, downer dog, let's go, get out. I got bad insurance, you gotta get out, please. Please get out. And then I Googled, where's your appendix? And I went, I should have checked that one first. So I went to the hospital. Uh, I gotta say, I did the right thing. If you're going to the hospital, I went out to the interstate, you know, started checking billboards. <laughs> to see who has the shortest ER wait time. <laughs> what on earth is that? Why is that an ad campaign? <laughs> sure, that doesn't mean you have a good ER. <laughs> it makes me imagine that there's like this charge nurse somewhere that's like, how's room number one? And they're like, we lost him. And they're like, great! <laughs> Are your billboards gonna be so low? <laughs> Saving all this time. So we wandered around for 15 minutes and saved seven minutes and uh, got right in. They did a scan of my body and they were like, it looks like you ate a little burrito and then a bigger burrito. <laughs> Why'd you do that? That was a dumb idea. You're, you're not very smart. It's called the Poncho Via Push Show. I thought it was a good idea. No, they, they, uh, they didn't say that. They were like, it's your appendix. Your appendix is in flame and it's about to explode. So we got to do emergency surgery. And I was like, oh, thank heavens. And she was like, thank heavens. And I go, I thought it was something else. <laughs> she goes, what do you think it was? And I was like, none of your business. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about that. So they did my appendectomy. They did it laparoscopically. Has anybody ever had an appendectomy? Anybody? Oh, right up front. You guys there? Yeah? Did you have it done laparoscopically? Yeah? Same? Do you know? Lapar do you, you have a scar on your right hand side? Ooh, that's cool. So this is the old way they used to do appendectomies. Your appendix is over here on the right hand side. Good for you to know so you don't have to eat two burritos. <laughs> They used to cut you open where your appendix is and take it out. And that makes sense to me based on my knowledge of surgery from the game operation. <laughs> you wanna reach in, don't touch the sides, and get it. And, uh, and so when they do it laparoscopically, they cut you on the other side. And you find yourself going, guys, it's so much closer if you just went right here, you should go right here. You're gonna touch a bunch of stuff and my nose is gonna be like meh, meh, meh. Not good. And they said, don't worry, we're gonna inflate you so nothing will be in the way. And I was like, that wasn't in the game. <laughs> I don't understand this. So they did that. They inflated me through my belly button, a hole they made in my belly button. When they say they're gonna inflate you through your belly button, it's impossible to not picture the doctor at your belly button <laughs> with a straw, just... <laughs> The surgical, the surgical text, like, you gotta pinch it, otherwise the air doesn't go in. <laughs> there you go. Just like a pool toy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and they get it out. Goes well. How did yours, did they get it out in time? You didn't, it didn't explode? Yeah? Was it close? No. No? Not even close. Ooh, that's interesting. Was yours close? Your yours exploded. Oh, I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> what do they do when it explodes? They just go, sorry. Hole and out Another hole and they yeah. drained you. Gross, like a <laughs> can of tuna. <laughs> I think it's cool that they didn't, uh, they didn't give you a hard time. They were like, eh. they, when they took it out, were they like, we didn't even need to do that. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, here's the bill, ten thousand dollars. Did you get billed? Do you get billed if it doesn't uh, explode? Oh, uh, okay. So it doesn't even matter. Welcome to the United States of America. 
Doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's great. Hey, did you know that Drybar Comedy has their own app now? Download it right now and you can watch my whole special.